Welcome, welcome, everyone. I hope you are ready to learn some English. In today's English lesson, you will learn a little bit about the state of Arkansas, and also you will get a chance to practice your English listening skills. I predict that this will not be the most popular English lesson simply because the state of Arkansas is not very well known, but I promise we will do every one of the 50 states on this channel. And sometimes we have to do some of the states that are a little boring maybe. But as I was doing my research for this state, I found it quite interesting. And I hope that you will too. Learn about a state that maybe you didn't even know existed. But we are going to be talking about some, some things that Arkansas is famous for couple famous people, a couple famous parks. We will talk about the geography of Arkansas. We'll talk about how bad it is when it comes to education. But before we get too far, I would like to say hello to a few people. Mega is here from India. Hope you're doing well. Freddie Wolf, what's going on? Thomas is here. South America. It looks like Argentina is really in the house. Chile is in the house as well. Lino, hope you're doing well. Tanya, Germany is here. Modegs from Parts Unknown. Modegs is a mystery. Mr. Nobody's here. Filippo, I do need to shout out immediately. Filippo, Filippo from Italia. He is from Italy. He left a super chat before we started. So I do have a little something for him to thank you. It means so much, Filippo. I know that there are a lot of English teachers out there. And the fact that you are choosing to watch me, thank you. And the fact that you are actually dropping a generous super chat. Thank you so much, Filippo. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, that's amazing. And I did just buy a new microphone this Thursday, maybe Wednesday. You will see a new microphone. Members have seen it. I think only members have seen it so far, but the audio is better. It's a little harder to do the English lesson, but the audio is better. Speaking of English, we should probably talk about the lesson for today, right? It is about the state of Arkansas. And if you do have any questions about the state, feel free to leave your questions in a form. There is a link in the description and there is a reminder at the bottom to ask your questions there about the state of Arkansas. Members, there will be a time a little bit later where you can just drop your questions in the chat if you have them. All right, again, Filippo. Thank you so much. So let's talk a little bit here about the state of Arkansas. And what I did was I asked an AI program, artificial intelligence, some computer program to write some sentences about the state of Arkansas. Now they are a little difficult, but what I think you can do with these is listen as I pronounce them. And then if you would like, you can shadow with them. And when I say shadow, that means to repeat what I say. That will really help with your pronunciation. All right, let's do it. Today, we're talking about the U.S. state of Arkansas. Arkansas is a state located in the southern region of the United States, and it is part of the Great Plains region of North America. Now, we are not going to be talking about the Great Plains. There are other states, like Kansas. I will mention Kansas in a minute, where we will talk more about the Great Plains of the United States. But when you see plains as it is written there, it is not the thing in the sky. No, plains means flat land. So Arkansas has a bit of flat land in it. But a state like Kansas 
will be better to talk about the Great Plains. How about this one? The state is bordered by six states. Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Texas, as well as by the Mississippi River. So the Mississippi River is one of the most important rivers in the United States. Kind of goes right down the middle of the United States. And it is on the border. It's on the edge of Arkansas. Let's practice saying big numbers in English. Arkansas has an area of 53,179 square miles and is the 29th largest state in the United States. So we have 50 states. And when we talk about largest here, that means size, that means land, not people. So Arkansas is somewhere in the middle. It's not the largest state. It's not the smallest state. It's somewhere in the middle. The state's capital is Little Rock. The population of Arkansas is just over 3 million people. So I don't know. I know that there are cities like New York City and Mexico City and Tokyo and Manila that have way more people than the entire state of Arkansas. So when it comes to people living in Arkansas, I think we can say there aren't that many, considering that the land is quite big, definitely bigger than a city like Mexico City. And the last one that this AI computer generated program wrote, the state is home to several historic sites, including the National Historic Trail of Tears, which recounts the journey of Native Americans who were forcibly removed from their lands. So I think that is pretty hard for English learners, but it is going to challenge you. And we're not going to talk about the Trail of Tears in this lesson. When we talk about a state like Oklahoma, I will talk more about the Trail of Tears, but I'm curious. Does anyone in the chat, anyone watching live right now, know what the Trail of Tears is? When we talk about American history or the history of the United States, a very dark time period was the Trail of Tears. And I would like to talk about that just briefly, just in case anyone is taking a test to become a U.S. citizen in the near future, maybe this will help you. But like I said, when we talk about the state of Oklahoma, I don't know when that will be, but we will talk way more about the Trail of Tears. Mina is here. How are you? All right, India. Nicely done. New York is in the house. Welcome. Oh, Columbia. Beautiful. Manuel, hope you're doing well, man. Now, um, Manuel says he's never been to Arkansas. And you know what? Neither have I. I would like to, though. So Natalia is, is on the right track. She says it seems so sad, this trail of tears. It is very sad. Mahmood, hope you're doing well, man. All right, because uh, Ramadan Mubarak. That's Thursday or Friday, right? Um, so let's talk a little bit about the Trail of Tears. I don't see anyone in the chat who knows it. So um, it's, it's not well known in American history, but it is when... Okay, so for a long time before European explorers came to the Americas came to the United States, there were people living here already. You might hear them called Native Americans. You might hear them called indigenous people. So when Europeans arrived, they wanted the land for themselves, pretty much. 
And there was a time when we had a president. His name was Andrew Jackson. And he really made this trail of tears thing happen. And that is when Native Americans who were living in the eastern part of the United States were forced to move to what is now Oklahoma. Forced to move. So if you were old and you had to walk thousands of miles, there was a good chance you didn't make it, that you died along the way. So it is an embarrassing part of American history. It's a piece that is is talked about in American schools. We can't forget what happened, but it's not something that we ever want to see happen here again or anywhere. So, Modags. He, I think, is a student of history, and it seems like he knows a little bit about the Trail of Tears. Cotton played an important role, right? I don't know if Cotton played an important role, but at the time, Cotton was king, as they say in the American South at this time. So Cotton was a big part of the Civil War, the American Civil War, which we will talk about, but it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me um, that Cotton you know, that makes clothing, cotton and English. And uh, yeah, it could be. Maybe settlers, maybe farmers wanted more land to grow cotton. Very well could be, but it was just kind of a, a mean thing, horrible thing. A lot of Native Americans died on the Trail of Tears. Yeah, Andrew Jackson is on our $20 bill. He may not be on there for long. Harriet Tubman, if you know my other channel, American English Guy 2, I did a lesson on Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman may be on the $20 bill at some point. There's been a lot of talk about it because Andrew Jackson, yes, he was one of our presidents, but some of the things he did were a little embarrassing. And the Trail of Tears is one of the most embarrassing things that he did. All right. What's that? Manuel, you always thought that I was in Canada? Talking to me? Is Bob the Canadian in the chat? No, I'm I'm uh I'm from the United States. I'm really close to Canada, maybe a 2-hour drive, but nope. I am not in Canada. All right, let's get rid of this. If there are any questions, please leave them in the form. But it looks like there are only a little over 100 people here today. So maybe I can answer some of the questions in the chat. But for me to answer questions, we... Oh, hang on a second. Before the stream started, there was a new channel member. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description. It will give you bonus English videos. I release about one a week. I actually released four this week. I think it was four. So, Pablo, hope you enjoy it there. Welcome. New member. Make sure you check the members tab for the Discord, the members chat, and the bonus videos. Yeah, and just a, uh, a shout out to gold members. Hey, again, thank you for being gold members. We are switching from Volley to something called Slack. So also check the community tab for that. All right, Arkansas here. In that picture, you can see the shape of the state, what it looks like. And that in the middle is what Arkansas's flag looks like. So of course, we have a flag of the United States. It's red, white, and blue. It has stars and stripes on it. But also each state has its own flag. And that is the state flag of Arkansas. You got to love English, right? We have another state called Kansas. I have it written there. We are not talking about Kansas today. But if you look at the spellings, they, they just don't make sense. 
Arkansas, Kansas. I mean, it looks like it should be called Arkansas, but no, no, don't say that. It's Arkansas. So two different states, Arkansas, Kansas. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure. I didn't invent English. Whoever did must have been, I don't know, drunk. Maybe they were on some drugs. I don't know. But whoever invented English, they're making it really hard for people who are trying to learn English. So Arkansas, Kansas. I don't know. Sorry. So if you want to see where in the United States Arkansas is located, I grabbed this from Wikipedia. And you can see that little square thing kind of in the middle is where the state of Arkansas is located. So let's talk about the exact population of Arkansas, another big number. And this was according to the year 2022. The population of Arkansas is 3,011,500. And 24. Let's read that one more time just to help you practice saying large numbers in English. The population of Arkansas is 3,011,524. So now we need to talk a little bit about slavery. Yeah, the history of the United States is quite embarrassing at times. We were a country that had slavery here. Whoa, Sita. It looks like Mahdi's here too. So welcome from Brazil. Looks like Saudi Arabia might be in the house. All right, welcome. And today we're just focusing on the state of Arkansas. Hang on. Manuel Jefferson was a president who fought against slavery And he had a lot of slaves, even a lot of children, LOL. Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, let's not talk too much about him either. He's from the state of Virginia. Yeah, he had some children. Some of them were slaves of his. Yeah, let's, let's not talk too much about Jefferson. A lot of embarrassing stuff. Hey, Audie, how are you? Welcome. Okay, Natalia says, Arkansas doesn't have a seashore. No, it doesn't. And we are going to be talking about landlocked in a little bit. I think they do have lakes, they do have rivers, but they do not have the ocean next to them. So they are a landlocked country. All right, focus, focus, Brent. I could stay in the chat all day, but that means we won't have a lesson. Okay. So we need to talk about slavery. It's a very embarrassing part of American history. But when Arkansas became a state, slavery was still legal in the United States. Arkansas was admitted to the Union on June 15th, 1836. We will later find out that slavery becomes illegal in the United States in 1865. So when Arkansas becomes a state or is admitted to the union, they come in as what we call a slave state, a slave state. So at this time, when there was a new state, if they were in the northern part of the United States, they would probably be called a free state. A free state did not allow slavery. A slave state did allow slavery. Just in case you don't know what slavery means in English or a slave, slavery is when one person owns and controls another person. I did check this lesson for typos, but I missed one. Hopefully, I only missed one. Let me reread that. Now it is perfect. Slavery is when one person owns 
and controls another person. So I think slavery is illegal now in most parts of the world. I can't say all parts of the world, but definitely in the United States, slavery is illegal in every state. In 1865, slavery was made illegal in the entire part of the United States. Here's a sentence you can practice shadowing with. Slavery ended in the United States after the Civil War, 1865. But before then, Arkansas was a state that did have slavery. And just in case you don't know what the American Civil War is, I have another sentence for you. During the American Civil War, the states in the North fought against the states in the South. Pretty much. Pretty much. I'm trying to make it simple because this is not a, um, a lesson about the Civil War. Maybe I can do one of those in the future. This is about Arkansas, but Arkansas was part of the Civil War for a little while. Mozambique is in the house. Welcome. Just checking through the, the chat to make sure I'm not missing anything. What is that? I, I do not know this manual. It's funny. The famous and infamous Spanish flu, which killed millions of people. Oh, the outbreak? Really? Was it? So what Manuel is talking about is the Spanish flu. We're talking about 1918, 1917, towards the end of the Civil War. Can, can you check that? I almost think it was in Kansas. I almost think that historians think that the Spanish flu might have started in Kansas. But Kansas and Arkansas are really close to each other but i think it was i think it was kansas if i had time i would definitely check that but all right natalia i'm not sure i'm not sure where the um state name came from maybe has something to do with native americans um that word there aborigine we would mostly associate that with Australia. So the native people, the indigenous people of Australia in English, we would call them Aboriginal. Yeah. Alonzo. Hey, thank you so much. Alonzo shares everything I put out on Facebook. So thank you, Alonzo. I appreciate that. All right. Looking through the chat just to make sure Hey, um, Modag says, blame the AI software on that mistake. I wish I could. That was my mistake. I wrote that one. I only wrote the first, the first four or five, but I like the way you think. Let's just blame for years, maybe two years. I blamed everything on COVID. Even if it wasn't at fault, psh, blame it on COVID. I'm having a bad day. It's COVID's fault, right? It's got to be COVID's fault. Like the way you think. All right. British allocation is in here. Drop in some knowledge. Thank you, sir. Okay. Freddie, Kansas. Yes. I remember hearing that story that there were some airmen, we might call people that I think fought in World War I, flew airplanes came back to the United States and that's where that Spanish flu started that really deadly like COVID times a hundred that's where that started around 1918 1917 yeah there were three or four years there where millions of people died scary time thank you Freddie all right let's get back to the English lesson I do love, I do love looking at the chat though. Okay. We need to talk a little bit about this in English climate versus weather, because in a minute I am going to talk about the climate of Arkansas 
So when you hear weather in English, that means what happens. I'm sure most people know about weather. That's what happens day to day. Is it raining? Is it snowy? Is it windy? But when we talk about climate, we're not talking about day by day. We're talking more about like hundreds or thousands of years, what the weather is generally like, not day to day, but over much longer periods of time. So climate is over a longer period of time, centuries. And if you hear century in English, it means a hundred years, century. So we might say that Arkansas has mild winters. The winters there are not very cold. They are mild. And I thought mild might be a new word for some. So the winters in Arkansas are mild. Mild is another way to say not too hot and not too cold, but on the warmer side. So where I live in Maine, I live further north. I would say the winters here are, are cold. They're not freezing. That's even colder than cold, but they're cold. If I lived in Arkansas, my winters would be milder. They wouldn't be as cold. And one of the most common ways you will hear mild used in English, at least if you come and visit the United States, is with what is in that picture. And those are something we call chicken wings. Let me make that picture a little bit bigger. So those wings, they might be mild chicken wings. In the back, that green stuff we call celery, that orange stuff we call carrots, in the middle, we call that stuff probably ranch, a dipping sauce in the middle that is ranch. But mild when it comes to chicken wings means they're a little spicy, but they're not quite hot. So they're, they're in the middle on the warmer side. So hopefully that helps. Still about a hundred people watching. I was surprised. We I thought there would be fewer people as the lesson goes on because I don't think Arkansas is as popular as Florida or California, but we are going to do all of the 50 states. This is Arkansas. I do need a sip of water. Let me play a little something here for you. Just reminding you to uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If this lesson is helping your English improve, don't forget to tap that like button and share it with a friend who's learning English. All right, we're back. Got a drink. I know Alonzo will be sharing this on Facebook. Thank you so much, Alonzo. Thank you to anyone who shares this lesson with a friend who might be learning English. All right. Just checking the chat here. Uh, Mexico. I need to visit Mexico in the near future. Claudette, thank you so much. I'm enjoying your lessons. I appreciate that. All right, Brooks. Okay. To some of us, the U.S. in general is interestingly fantastic. Well, thank you, Brooks. I appreciate that. All right. looks like uh, some Arabic or Persian is written there. I, I hope I hope that's nice. I don't know. I'm going to pretend, maybe it does say, in Persian or Arabic that says, Brent, you are the best English teacher ever. I'm going to pretend that's what that says, just to make me feel better. Maybe it says, Brent, I hate you. You need to get off of YouTube and Facebook. You are the worst ever. Yes, Mode says 100% ranch. Americans love to put ranch on everything. Yeah, Americans, like for supper last night, for dinner, I, had, I put ranch on my ranch. I just had a big bowl of ranch dressing. I would take the spoon, 
before I ate the ranch, the spoonful of ranch, I dipped it in another bowl of ranch. So it's not the healthiest, but it tastes good. Tastes good. All right, uh, Brooks, that's a good question. Which states have I covered so far? There should be a link at the top of the chat, at least in YouTube, that talks about those states. So we did Alaska and Nevada a couple weeks ago. A couple, like maybe last year, we did Florida, California, and New York. I might update those though. All right. Okay, mode. So that must have been Arabic. I know that mode um, speaks Arabic. I think French and English. So how can I speak like a native speaker? Any advice? Thank you, sir. Yeah, I would say keep listening. Keep listening. I think a lesson like this where we spend about an hour, you will hear a native English speaker speaking slowly, hopefully clearly. I think that will really help. All right. Let's get back to the lesson. I, I do. Oh, I do love. I do love. Do love reading the chat. I wish I could just read the chat the whole time, but I have a job to do. I must teach. Yeah. I would like to go to Cancun one day very soon. Yes. For the beach. Beautiful. Yes. For the people. I've watched a lot of videos in Mexico. The people seem wonderful, but I also would like to go for Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza, one of the seven wonders of the world. What's that? Yeah, I do. Yes, Natalia. I do sometimes pig out on ranch dressing. Libya is in the house. Hope you're doing well. All right. Oh, man. Bangladesh, the car. Hopefully everybody's doing well there. All right. Do your job, Brent. Natalia mentioned earlier how Arkansas does not have an ocean near it. And we would call that a landlocked state. Let's go back to the map here. So you see where Arkansas is in the middle of the country, that red red square, as we talked about earlier. So the ocean in the United States, we have two oceans near us. On the East Coast, we have the Atlantic Ocean. And on the West Coast, we have the Pacific Ocean. And right down below, much further south, part of the Atlantic Ocean, we call in English the Gulf of Mexico. But you can see Arkansas doesn't border any oceans. And in English, we say that they are landlocked. Now, that doesn't mean they don't have lakes or rivers, or ponds, it just means they don't have access to the ocean. They cannot reach the ocean. They need to go through a state or two to get to the ocean. And it looks like if you were in Arkansas, you could just head south through Louisiana, that's right below Arkansas, and you would eventually reach the ocean. It might take some time, but Arkansas is a landlocked state. I might have a sentence for you. You know what we forgot to talk about? I mentioned that the winters in Arkansas were mild, but let's talk about the temperature in the winter. So in Fahrenheit, it gets to be about 30 degrees. That's about as low as it gets in Arkansas. You can see negative one Celsius. And in the winter, it will get as warm as 50 degrees. So about 10 degrees Celsius. In my opinion, that is mild. To some people who live in maybe Saudi Arabia, like Mahdi, you might say mild. What are you talking about? That's freezing. That's even colder than mild. Now, the summers in Arkansas, though, can be pretty hot. Let's talk about the temperatures. 70 degrees Celsius, sorry, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius would be the cooler side. 
but it can get all the way up to the 90s or the 30s in Celsius. So, oh, I have a reminder. Hopefully everyone has done that. Hit the like button. Thank you. So we were talking about landlocked, and I do have a sentence for you. We can talk about landlocked. Arkansas is a landlocked state, which means none of its borders touch an ocean. Yeah, that's the definition of landlocked. Now let's talk about the state capital of Arkansas. So the United States has a capital city that is Washington, D.C., but each of the 50 states also has a capital city. And that is where the government is located. The leader of each state is somebody we call a governor. You know, the leader of our country is somebody we call the president. But each state has its leader as well. And that person is called the governor. So there is a governor of Arkansas right now. I forgot her name. Hmm. But and that was not part of the lesson, but she is going to be running for president. And it is a woman. Her name is, is it Sarah Saunders? Not important, but she is going to be running for president. We will talk about one president we have had from Arkansas. So here's a sentence or two for you about Little Rock. Each state, two typos. Come on. Two typos. And for me to change this, I need to put up another one. Each state has a capital. See? Even native English speakers make mistakes sometimes. I caught that one. There might be others that I, I don't catch. Each state has a capital, the center for government. The city of Little Rock is the capital of Arkansas. A little over 200,000 people live in Little Rock. So you can see in this picture, there is water, but it's still a landlocked state because that water is not part of the ocean, at least not yet. You can see water in that picture, but it's the Arkansas River. So the Arkansas River flows through the city of Ar uh, the city of Little Rock. All right, just checking the chat, making sure I'm not missing anything important. We do have we do have a question in the form. So let me check this here. And it's from Natalia. She is a, a channel member. So why don't I do that right now? Switch over to members only just in case they do have some questions. I'm going to put members only chat on if you're in YouTube and go ahead, ask your questions about Arkansas. If you are a member, that is my little thank you to the channel members. Thanks so much. All right. So we had a question from Natalie. She is in Chile, and I am trying to bring up her question. Notice that English phrasal verb there, bring up. So Natalia, thank you. She is from Chile. Is that how you say it in Spanish? In English, we say Chile. But we also have food that's chili. But I think also we have food called Turkey. But I think in English, the country of Turkey is changing to Turkey. Turkey. I need to look that up. But chili. Here we go. This is Natalia's question. She always has great questions. Hey, Brent, can you state that nowadays compared to a former period the Mississippi River has lost its wide oh, water. Uh, we would call that probably current, the wide current due to global warming weather, pollution, human activities. Is it still possible to do rafting there or is it too dangerous or illegal 
Do people swim there? Thank you. Oh, great questions. Great questions about the mighty Mississippi. It's another way you might hear the Mississippi River called in English, the mighty Mississippi. So good questions there, Natalia. I am sure like most of the water around the world, it's depth. We might use that term for how deep something is. It's depth is probably not as deep as it once was because of global warming or, or climate change. That I can assume. I don't know about rapids. I don't know about, excuse me, whitewater rafting. It's a good question. I was just talking with a friend of mine that I teach with. Shout out to Zach. I don't think he will be watching this. His English is really good. He's a native English speaker, but he was talking about going whitewater rafting this summer on a river we have here in Maine called the Kennebec River. So it's possible to do it in Maine. I'm not sure if it's possible to do it on the mighty Mississippi. Let's see here. Natalia, she's a channel member. She has something else here. What is the main economical activity in Arkansas? Commerce, technology, services, tourism, agriculture. It's the main food. It's specialty. We will talk about that, Natalia. We will talk about that. Um, there's a lot of land in Arkansas, so a lot of farming for sure. All right, Freddie Wolf. We can talk about this. Freddie is wondering, is the, the state of Arkansas, is it in the hurricane corridor? All right. I love this question. So hurricanes in English will affect, those are storms that affect land near the ocean. So hurricanes affect land near the ocean. So a state like Florida, they have a lot of hurricanes compared to many other states tornadoes those are the storms that affect landlocked mostly landlocked states so yeah arkansas is in that area yeah let's let's see if we can pull that up tornado alley it is called so right in the middle of the country So where Arkansas is in the middle, yes, that would be part of Tornado Alley. Yeah, great question there, Freddie. Great question. All right, checking through the chat here. Oh, Cecilia. She is also an English teacher. I think she offers private classes. She's very good. She said this is an amazing lesson. Thank you so much. Mode is talking to Sita. Um, I don't know what the goal is, but it looks like they're having a, a conversation. So hope everything's going well there. Arkansas. Oh yes. Um, Williams. Apparently now I've never been to Arkansas, but the natural beauty, we will talk a little bit about it. The natural beauty of Arkansas, because there aren't that many people that live there. There is a lot of natural beauty there. All right. Feel my voice sounds low today. Is it, is it deeper or not as loud? Can you turn can you turn up your computer? Can you turn up your TV? Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe I can turn it up a little bit. Maybe it's a little louder now. Yeah. Um I think I answered that question already, right? How do I speak like a native? I did. I answered that. Mode translated that for, for you. So thank you so much for the question. I'm so, uh, I apologize, Mode. He says, please stop prying on my conversation with Sita. I, I, I do apologize. I will not do that again. Filippo, a little off topic. That's okay channel member you're allowed and you dropped the super chat filippo you can do whatever you want in the chat if you want to pry 
on mode and see this conversation. I give you permission. I don't know if mode gives you permission, but I give you permission. Um, Maine does Cabot Cove in Maine really exist? I'm not sure. I've not heard of that. So I'm going to be going to Vermont this week. And there is a cheese. There's a cheese maker in Vermont called Cabot Cheese. But as I'm looking up, Cabot Cove. Oh, wow. It's in Kennebunkport. Let me see if I can um, share the screen here. So it does seem like... I'll share this right here. It does seem like there is a Cabot Cove, Maine. Yeah, and it's in Kennebunkport, Maine. Kennebunkport, Maine is famous because it's a beautiful town, but it's also where the Bushes live. And we've actually had two presidents from that family, the Bushes. George W. Bush is one of them and his father. So yeah, um, Cabot Cove. Oh, is this where, okay. Where the heck is Cabot Cove, Maine? Okay, so well, this is a local radio station, WBLM. And uh, okay, so I know this TV show, Murder, She Wrote. I don't think it's real. Right? Unfortunately, yeah, she passed away. Angela Lansbury is, I did not think we would be talking about Angela Lansbury when it comes to a English lesson on Arkansas, but okay. We're not even sure exactly where Cabot Cove was supposed to be in Maine. All right. So I'm going to say no, I guess it doesn't really exist, but it seems like that is from the TV show murder. She wrote very popular in the 1980s here in the United States. I remember my mom was a big fan of that show and it took place in Maine, but you know, it's fake. So I guess Cabot Cove might be near Kennebunkport, Maine. So apparently it, it doesn't, it's not real. It's not real. All right. Okay. So my voice is low. Let's see, we can crank it up. Have you ever heard that? Crank it up. We can make it louder. Ooh. Is it too loud now? Did it hurt your ears? All right. Let's check here. Any more members asking? I do want to let everybody back into the, because sometimes I forget. So everybody, come on back. See, how do I do that? Come on, Brent. You can do this. Everybody's back. Hey, let's even, let's let everybody in. Maybe we will get some spammers. That will be cool, right? Be careful what you wish for, right? Andy, it does look like we have a new member. Andy, welcome, sir. Let me find this here. Got a little something for you. I'm having trouble with my buttons today. Here's my button right here. New channel member. Thank you so much, Andy. Welcome. New member. Make sure you check the members tab for the Discord, the members chat, and the bonus videos. Yeah, thank you. So bronze members, you get all the bonus videos. If you're a silver member, you get access to the Discord server. We're in there chatting pretty much every day. And then there's a smaller group, the gold members. And we are moving from Volley, because they're going away, to uh, something called Slack. And there is a link in the community tab for each of those. Let me know though. And um, if the discord server, I know Filippo had a problem yesterday, the link wasn't working anymore. So I can put a fresh link there if you need it. All right, Andy, welcome. Let's get back to the lesson, right? We were talking about Arkansas, weren't we? We were talking about Landlocked. We talked about Little Rock. We have not talked about Walmart yet. Walmart. If you are an American, if you are living in the United States, you know Walmart. They are ubiquitous. Big word. 
ubiquitous means they are everywhere right now cell phones are ubiquitous you can't avoid cell phones they're everywhere well in the united states walmarts are everywhere and it is literally the largest company in the world and it started in arkansas in fact i do think i have a wikipedia page here on arkansas on walmart which started in arkansas and you can see right here it says somewhere it is the largest company by revenue walmart is the world's largest company by revenue so when you hear the word revenue in english think money so there might be other companies that have more employees maybe but when you're talking about earning the most money it's walmart and at one time the founder of walmart the guy who started walmart was the richest man in the world at one time but then he died very sad and then i think he has four children and those four children divided up his money but there's still some of the richest people in the world sam walton was the man's name walmart it started in arkansas arkansas is not known for a lot of things but it's known for Walmart. Ooh, so Natalia says it's in Chile. It is. If we went back to that page, um, according to Wikipedia, let's see, Natalia, let's see if we can bring this up. According to Wikipedia, oh, look at this. Is that Walmart Brazil? So right there. Chile, Canada, South Africa. Yeah. And it was started right there in Bentonville, Arkansas. Look at a little bonus right there. Bentonville, it's the 10th largest city in Arkansas, which in my mind it means it's, it's probably a pretty small city, right? All right. Back to the lesson. What else is Arkansas known for? They're known for this college team and in the United States, actually I have, I have a sentence for you about Arkansas in case you want to practice your shadowing. Walmart began in Arkansas. Walmart is the world's largest company. Walmart. Pretty special, right? I shop at Walmart probably two times a week. Yeah. You can get pretty inexpensive products at Walmart. Now, the University of Arkansas. In the United States, college sports is very popular. College, university, we use those terms interchangeably. And the University of Arkansas is pretty famous for its sports teams. They have a pretty good football team. They have a pretty good basketball team and their mascot is a Razorback. And if you look at that picture right there, does it looks like a pig, right? And you can see the back of the pig. Looks like it might be sharp. Definitely has sharp teeth. So a Razorback is pretty much like a wild pig. So let's read this sentence here. Two sentences, actually. A famous college in Arkansas is called the University of Arkansas. They are known as the Razorbacks. Yeah. Basketball teams have been pretty good there. Yeah. They have a lot of teams, but basketball and football or American football are the most famous sports teams at the University of Arkansas. Ooh. If you haven't subscribed yet, that's my reminder to remind you to su subscribe. 
subscribe. And if you are just joining us, this is an English lesson about the state of Arkansas, not one of our most popular states. We will talk about California, Florida, Hawaii later, much later. Today, it's about Arkansas. Well, what about this guy? There are... Have ourselves. One interesting thing I found about Arkansas is that you can actually go to a state park and maybe find diamonds. You can see from the picture there, there are diamonds. If you didn't know what that is in English, take a look. Shiny things. Some people like to make jewelry with diamonds, jewelry, not easy to say. But let's look at this. Maybe you want to go to this state park to dig for diamonds. Look at this. It is possible. I don't think you will get rich, but there is a website here. Start planning your diamond adventure. We will talk about how much it costs to get in here, but this state park is called Crater of Diamonds State Park. I'm just going to read right here, right? Is one of the only diamond producing sites in the world where the public can search for diamonds in their original volcanic source. So you can go to the state park. I think it costs like $13 and yeah, there it is price of admission. So that means how much does it cost to get in? If you are an adult, it is going to cost you $13. If you are a child, it will cost you $6. But if you have 20 people, you can get in for $220, which is a little over $5, I think. So not bad. And I do want to teach you this term in case you've never seen it, finders keepers. Let's talk about that in English. What does finders keepers mean? That means if somebody loses something, somebody else finds it, the person who finds it can keep it. So if you go to this state park, you pay your $13 for admission, you go in, maybe you bring a shovel, I don't know, you dig in the ground and you find a big diamond, it is yours to keep. Finders keepers. You do not have to give it to the people who work at the park. Now, I don't know. I don't think you're going to get rich there. I'm pretty sure that whoever finds diamonds, the diamonds will be very small. But if you're ever in Arkansas, it's something you might want to check out. Yeah, uh, Freddie, razorbacks and boars, they're pretty much the same thing. Wild pigs, boars, it's like male pigs. Like, Yeah, but pretty much, pretty much. Pretty much. No, I'm wrong. You are a diamond. I like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. British allocation. Wonderful live class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. British allocation. He's he's a British English teacher. He might just want to say English teacher because after all, I think the British invented the language. That's why we call it English. It's from England. But, you know, I don't know. They're like 300 million Americans. We got, we got a lot of people that speak American English. Okay, it looks like Natalia had to leave. Hope you have a great Sunday too. All right, almost done here. We got to talk about a couple more famous people though. I think you may have already seen this guy. We were jumping ahead of ourselves for a second. This guy, Bill Clinton. He was once governor of Arkansas, and then he became an American president. And he was president for most of the 1990s here in the United States. So if you would like a sentence or two to practice shadowing, 
It's at the bottom right there on the screen. Bill Clinton was our 42nd president. He was president for most of the 1990s. And I did, I asked the poll on Instagram and I said, how many people know Johnny Cash? And there, I think it was maybe 40%. Let me see if I can find that. So not many people knew Johnny Cash. So I thought we should talk about him a little bit. Let's see. Right there. Can we see that? Eh, probably not well, right? I, nah, it's too too light. But it looks like um, how many people voted? This really doesn't help. But if you can see the line, more people didn't know. Who's that? More people didn't know Johnny Cash than knew Johnny Cash. So let's talk about this man. Johnny Cash was one of the most famous singers in the United States. He sang mostly country songs. So look him up. It's hard to describe country music if you've never heard it before. But if you listen to Johnny Cash, and one of my favorite songs by Johnny Cash is Ring of Fire, he sings country music. We like to say country music has a twang. Yeah, it's very hard to describe if you've never heard country music. We also have this other guy who was born in Arkansas. His name is Scotty Pippen. You can see he was a very famous basketball player. Scotty Pippen was a very famous basketball player. He won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan. So probably most people watching have never heard of Scotty Pippen. You've probably heard of Michael Jordan, probably the most famous basketball player of all time, at least if you are my age. But one of the best players who played with Michael Jordan was a guy named Scotty Pippen from Arkansas. All right. Now, the bad news about Arkansas. When it comes to education, we have 50 states, right? 51, if you want to count Washington, D.C. It's not really a state. It's not really a city. But Forbes is a famous magazine in the United States. And they did a ranking on the states and their education, teachers, schools, students. And unfortunately, Arkansas ranked 41st out of 51. So they are definitely towards the bottom. They're really not known for their education, but I do have a sentence here for you. Arkansas is ranked 41st for education in the United States. They are towards the bottom. This is according to Forbes, a famous magazine in the United States. Oof. And here's the scariest thing, I guess. So when it comes to education in schools, the quality rank is, is 34 and what they did was they took the quality, so 34, that's a little towards the middle, but when you're, talk, but when you're talk, talking about safety, hopefully you didn't hear, I heard something strange in this microphone. Hopefully it's still working. But the safety of the schools, how safe they are, they're ranked 50th, 50th out of 51. So that tells me the schools in Arkansas are not that safe. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay in the state of Maine when it comes to being a teacher, but Arkansas seems like a state I wouldn't mind visiting. Seems like it's beautiful. Probably could visit a pretty cool city, Little Rock, maybe find some diamonds, maybe visit some historical sites like the Trail of Tears Memorial. All right, let's finish up here. 
All right, Scotty fame. Scotty Pippen is famous. Thank you, Lino. Mm, Filippo. The second president impeached. I think you are right. We've had three presidents who have been impeached. Andrew Johnson was the first. Bill Clinton was the second. And Donald Trump was the third. And basically, I think I have done uh, an English lesson on impeachment. But when a president is impeached, that means a lot of people think they did something bad. So all three of those pre presidents were impeached, but they were found not guilty. So they did not have to leave office. Filippo, a student of American history. Diamonds are forever. Hey, that's a great, um, it's a great uh, James Bond movie too, by the way. All right. I am Thailand. Hope you're doing well in Thailand. I think we are just about done here. Yeah, Johnny Cash. He has a few um, really good songs. Hurt is another one. If you're looking, and Cecilia and I and others, we talk quite a bit about music in the Discord. Oh, she just she just put a link for uh, a U2 song with Bono and Edge. And I, I need to watch that um, documentary they just did. If you're a U2 fan. All right. Oh, Filippo, student of mine. Yeah, but must be very, very smart when it comes to American history. I don't know as much about Italian history. Was it Giuseppe? What's his name? Giuseppe. Vivaldi? Is that his name? The 1850 the guy responsible for uniting Italy, I think. Garibaldi. That's his name, right? Giuseppe Garibaldi. Garibaldi. I'm trying to say it in my most Italian way. Mari, you're still here from Saudi Arabia. Welcome. Thank you to everyone who made it to the end of this English lesson. I hope your English listening comprehension skills are better. I hope you have a better understanding of the English language. Thank you so much to everyone who watched, who liked, subscribed, became a member, is a member. Thank you so much. Like I said, I know there are a lot of English teachers out there. Some say there are more English teachers on social media than there are English students. You chose to watch me, and that does mean a lot, so... Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Mega, see ya. I need to learn how to say your name. Vinicius? I'm sorry. That's probably wrong. Yulia, hey, good to see you here. Tanya, know that. Audi, thank you so much. It's awesome. Oh, what is this? Thank you. From... It's very small, but that looks like uh, that looks like the flag of Thailand. So, thank you so much. I need to get going, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. All right, 